Okay, six scale, it's May 11th, 2023. Let's see, please add yourself in this attendee. All right. <clears throat> All right, well, so we're gonna start off with, uh, I mentioned this last week. So today's the day we're gonna talk with the um, Kubernetes SIG scale. So this is, um, if you want to find the an invite, it's, I think it's here. Yeah, I think it's just here. I think you just click one of these things that has, a, has the calendar link. I think it's maybe it's this one. <clears throat> um, and so it's uh, this afternoon, Eastern time, later this morning, PST. So I, I talked last time about the slides that we have. Um, I'll just copy them up here. So the same, um, I, I haven't made any changes. So this is gonna, this plan's gonna be the same. So um, we'll just talk through. Um, so I'll, what I'll do is, it's only a, how many slides? Seven slides. So I'll talk through the really quickly the slides. Just it's our mission, you know, how much a little bit how we measure and what we do, and <clears throat> and then um, you know some interesting tidbits of like how we how we can estimate scale using these metrics, and then um, let's we'll just talk about the collaboration. Hopefully, this is the main focus where we're going to be. Um, we have these questions that we have about how we can collaborate and hopefully this leads into a bunch of discussion. Okay. All right, let's look at the performance jobs. Alay, did you get a chance to integrate with, um, or to integrate the, uh, the dedicated uh, cluster? Let me just oh. check it real quick, let's see, make sure it's running. Looking, it is okay. Uh, the um, the performance cluster. No, I did not. I'm um, looking at the uh, artifacts directly first. Uh, my plan is to knock those things out. It's easier changes, um, and then look at the okay. integration. Okay. All right. Anything? Was there anything in here? I don't know. Let's, let's just go through. Um, it was same patterns as last time. The um, one, the one we noted last time that was sporadic, that one uh, did not get us a clear signal. Um, the node count is pretty okay. Let me see. Uh, it's the... It's the create VMI count that is bursty. Oh, sorry, it's it's in the VM, not here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we've, we've already noted this, uh, need to spend time digging into why this metric is like that. Uh, okay. Yeah, apart from that, everything has been same across last last week and this week. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So for this uh, for this work, so we've got the artifacts directory for the dedicated cluster. So how um, I, I'm kind of zooming out a little bit in, in terms of V1 and um, I want to see, so what we could try and tackle for V1. What's the, what, what's the repo we're posting to? Is it, what's the, um, yeah, we, this is my, this is on my personal GitHub right now. We need to, uh, follow up on right that now. issue. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So there okay. are a couple of things we need from community. Uh, one is that the repository, um, it's an issue in project infra. Um, let me get that one. The other thing is the PR for the latest bug fixes is out there. We need to get that merged as well. Um, okay, do you have a link to these? So this is, okay, yes. so we've got, we need, why don't you put them in here? So we've got, we need this one. We need the artifacts, artifacts directory for density jobs. Uh, we want this one, oops, I get the one. 
Okay, I'm putting it here. And then issue for Yeah, I'm currently working on the last uh, bullet point. The first, first two need some attention. Okay. <clears throat> so we've got the, uh, which one is still creating the repo? We just have, oh, this is the issue, right? Okay. Okay, we need to ask Lubo. All right, I can follow up with Lubo on this one. Um, and get the traction to get this one going. And then this is, okay, so this is the posting the super update radio spot to include all graphs and one index. Yeah, we just need somebody to bless approve on that. Oh, okay. Looks like everything seems okay from, all right. <clears throat> I'll ask Brian and Daniel to take a look at this one, and let me get Lugo on this one so we can um, create the project. Yeah, I was wondering um, if we are going to iterate on this tool, uh, would it make sense for us to have like six scale owner um, file in that? It will be much much easier to reduce latency that way. In in the um, in Project Infra or in the. Um... So in project infra, a specific directory, which is our tool. So if you go back to that PR, um, and yeah. So the perf report creator, yeah, that tool yeah. is specifically us, so. Um, <clears throat> All right, I can ask Daniel. All right, that should give us then, well, if we can get all three of these going, then so it gives us the repo. Um, you've got this bug fix, and then um, and then we're scraping the density data. Okay, so what else do we need? Because we want to get to a point where we're Things posting apart. something. Yeah. Yeah, so after the uh, repo is created, we will need a bunch of pro config for that repository. Uh, and that pro config will be very similar to uh, pro to the project health, CI health project, sorry. Okay. Yeah, that CI health project already has automation to run these um, scripts on a weekly basis so we can just uh, model it from there okay <clears throat> okay so that gives us the that gives us the, the you get this data automatically now yeah and it stores it inside this new repo okay yeah so now then the last step is going to be um, we need to post the data somewhere now that we have it in this repo uh let's see so ci health has uh, we can do this in a few different ways i mean i don't not particularly like if we want to do so like we, it's got some badges here we could do that um i i'm i guess like i'm in, inclined to like have this at least on our repo for a, a little bit before we post it on the Maybe we post it in Qvert Qvert at some point. Um, I don't know. Like we can yeah, start with something like I, this. We just create some badges in the README. Sure. All 
Right. Yeah, I think we can take uh, P95 uh, okay. creation to running as the metric that we will expose as a badge or, or a chart on the readme. All right, that sounds yeah, good. I think, I think that's really probably... Deep, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. I, I expect that a lot of time will be spent in creating that uh, pro config. So I, um, I really wish we can get the repository as soon as possible so that um, we don't miss the V1 timeline. Um, I, think, I think we need Lubo to do a bunch of these because Lubo understands this really well. He can help us in this one. Let me talk to him and see if we can get some of his time to do to do these for yeah. us since and he understands really these really up. well. Yeah. Okay. okay. Then uh so then for for the tool itself, I think uh, we need one bullet point for integration with all the jobs. So right now it only does uh SIG performance job, which does not include the density. Just, um, so that part is pending. Then, yeah. Once we have that, then I think we can round it up full set of bullet points needed to execute this. Okay. So this gets us all of the data. Okay, this is the other piece of it needs those two together. Damn. Okay, and these are kind of all real related. Okay. Yeah, okay. I, I wonder if it will be helpful to just create a um, tracking issue um, in, I don't know, CubeWord or some six scale uh, and put this um, integrate into the V1 issue that you have. Um, yeah, maybe what we can do, okay, that's not a bad idea. What I, what I think, um, what I kind of want to do is I, I'd like to for us to get this project created and then create the issue in there and then we can just kind of dump all these in there and then tag it over to the V1 issue. I, I like the idea of having it as part of V1 so we have a track there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let me see. I, I Lulu should be able to do this. It should take him a second just to create this project. So I can ping him after we finish here and we'll see if we can close sure. this quickly. And uh, one more thing I wanted to share is, um, so after the second bullet point uh, that PR merges, I am hoping to create, uh, currently there is two months of data in uh, SIG performance job. I'm hoping to create, instead of this eight week, um, I mean, we will continue to do this eight week uh, charts but just for now, I was hoping to create like a two month analysis as one off uh, and just store it for our reference later. Okay. In the sounds okay to me. Okay. Yeah. All right. I think <clears throat> once we have like the, once we have all the, pieces in place and we have the um like we can get the owner's file i think this is just going to be easy then we'll just you know you can fire away on these prs and we'll be locked okay i'll take this uh, after this meeting we'll get an answer from the boats okay this is a good picture i think then makes sense okay all right, was there anything else? I think we kind of, we slid into this. I don't know if we finished doing anything from here. So we just talking about the create view my accounts. Uh, I mean, I'm, I don't know if there was anything else that looks. Yeah. No um, PRs came in that, that affected anything. No, it doesn't look like it. Um, this one, again, we spotted as sporadic last time. The, yeah. the first chart you had. So, I mean, the same patterns are repeating. We did not see anything go up or down. 
Yeah. <clears throat> That's fine. Okay. Sounds good. All right. I think we covered everything. Is there anything else that we want to talk about? Um, so there was, um, there is one more thing I wanted to bring up. Uh, okay. This is regarding to the six scale Kubernetes meeting later on today. Uh, okay. So we found out one issue with the PVC. Um, so in the Kubernetes uh, PV and so that is volumes and claims controller, which reconcile PVCs and uh, volumes. Um, the way it works is those controllers uh, queue all the PVCs to the controller for queue every second. And what we observed is that if there are a bunch of pending uh, pending PVCs, then the work queue keeps growing so much that um, it will go, it will have a work queue latency of eight second, nine second um, in order to process that queue. I've identified the, the problem as uh, this one second in queuing causes all the PVCs to be on the queue. And then the, the item that are on the queue are processed as follows, which is if the PVC is in uh, bounded state, it will be skipped. But if the PVCs are in pending state, there will be one event which will be created that states that this PVC is in pending state. So if you have like 100 or 200 PVCs in pending state, every second, 200 uh, events will be created. I mean, it's not much, but that causes the work latency to go um, really bad at least the P95s. Um, so I, I'm hoping at some point we make enough progress in the discussions that we can raise this point. Uh, I did not get a chance to create an issue or see if there is already a tracking issue for this, but um, just wanted to share and get your thoughts. Yeah, I'm trying to, <clears throat> I'm trying to think this is good. This is like a very specific, example that we've noted and we very specifically or we identified a very specific problem and i mean there is another one we even um uh the deletion cleanup controller for pvcs has problems there's like we've run into that one these are all really good i i think like so i'm trying to think here so i guess like so here's what i'm thinking for this approach like like my goal for this meeting is to sort of build a bridge for us here where yeah. we can, they can understand what we're trying to accomplish in our own little SIG here in Qbert. And then, and, and to a point that, you know, we attend this meeting for that this meeting they have every, you know, on a regular basis. And we sort of, like, in, and this isn't just Qbert, I think like we sort of, um, like Qbert has has its own specific use cases here, like for these, right? But then we get into like all the ones that in, that we have internally in NVIDIA, right? Like all of the controllers that we've run into. So basically, I guess the way I'm seeing this, like we can start this off as, you know, this, this topic where we talk about Qbert specifically, and then as we attend more meetings, I, I think, you know, get to know them. Let's take, let's take it as like, um, let's take that opportunity to get very specific with how we're doing things and, and problems we're observing. And, yeah. and it's gonna, and it's gonna, and we, we can talk about it in terms of Qbert as well, if we wanted to, because it does, right? We we're using Qbert in this, in this case, and then we can talk about how it affects us. <clears throat> so I, I agree, like, I think, but I guess like what I'd like to do is we take this the sort of first meeting, let's take it as like um, a way we can, like these these problems specifically, like, you know, talking about um, ways that we can measure more 
is going to help tremendously. And it may even get to the point, may even start to give up, may even make it obvious um, the problem that you're, you're hitting right now. Maybe like, um, you know, maybe like we, we were able to find some states and PVs and PVCs like with pending or attached. And we're starting to see like pending is taking a really long time because now we're measuring it, hmm. you know, and then we start to dig into it and we start to find that, okay, here's the controller, right? Like, you know, in the calls, like you've already dug into it, like in the calls. And, and that's and that's sort of a way that we can sort of collaborate. So I guess the way I'm saying is, um, why don't we, um, these ones, I mean, we can create it. If you want to create issues for them, I'm just doing Kubernetes, like that's, you know, feel free. But we could also use them in, in future calls. I, however you want to approach this is, is fine. But I'd say let's, for this meeting, let's just, um, let's get a, let's just get a few questions out there. Let's just see how they respond. I, I, I have no idea what we're going to get. What, so let's just see how they respond. And hopefully let's build a bridge to, Future collaboration and no, I, I agree. Yeah, no, I agree with your approach. Um, I mean, I just wanted to share it here because it might affect that a PVC attachment time. And I see. Uh, if we get um, a good enough uh, traction and discussion going, maybe we can have these um, specific issues as follow up items. Um, that that we can post on the yeah maybe <clears throat> maybe a lay what we end up happening what ends up, ends up happening here is that you know th this PVC right it's one resource that we're looking to like improve scaling on this is just measuring the PVC right there could be so many things that come out of this where we say we want to improve PVC attachment performance and one maybe that maybe that's sort of like the issue like or the the cap or whatever we want to look at it as. And the way we look to improve is we start with just a timestamp before we measure. And then we start to look at specific areas like we've already done where you have a specific scenario where there's, it's a problem and we've, we've got a controller that runs into a work queue that gets overloaded. So like all of these things can sort of be, like I could see the, just this PVC portion of it being its own initiative. Um, I mean, there maybe is one for networking as well. Like there's a bunch of this stuff we might, we might find it, I think out of this yeah. yeah yeah no i agree with you 100 percent um and i think that's the main reason why i'm sharing these that we um i wanted to make sure this is captured in one of our doc and when time comes for it we can take that as a follow-up discussion point um sure. after after this yeah yeah let's let's keep it makes sense let's keep in mind we'll have it, we have it in our doc here noted so um, I think, I think I, I kind of like the way of approaching this is like, yeah, maybe we can look to just enhance the PVC performance and we just sort of list off things that we see, like we were saying earlier, like with the, the cleanup, PVC cleanup, the work queue is not good. You've noticed another one. There's probably more, you know, maybe we just kind of lump these together as PVC performance. And as part of that, we have measurements that we would need anyway, right? Cause it's going to need to, to do to actually measure these things in automation in, in a gate or whatever. So um, I, I mean, I think maybe they're, they're kind of all the same. Yeah, maybe they're all the same initiative. So yeah, Paul, yeah it makes, makes, makes sense. So the, the controller work queue problem, I explained that that is prevalent in all four controllers. PV, that is volumes. PVC, that is claims. Mm -hmm. uh, PV protection, which is the cleanup. And I PVC see. production, which is the claim. They, they all, think of our cues every second. And the, the only thing caveat is that um, the pending state affects only the creation timestamp and the deleted state affects the second, the other two. Um, so they are divided like that uh, in terms of uh, when it, they get affected. But the underlying issue is the same. Uh, and you're right that we can all this can all be one um, one single PVC performance thing. Makes sense. <clears throat> yeah. Um, okay. I, I like this. We'll hold this in the notes. This is something we're going to keep this around and let's, um, I think that's sort of our goal, right? We want to build these into like, Caps or initiatives, or whatever issues 
and, and start putting code down for this and it, yeah this makes sense well, this is good we've already we've already got like some more concrete stuff we want to build after we do some of this initial stuff so that's good okay okay yeah i think yeah, that's thanks, all thanks i well. had looking forward okay. to that meeting yeah yeah me too okay anything else from from folks okay i think we're done then all right, everyone. Thank you. Talk to all later. Bye-bye.